Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. Okay, we're going to do another suggestion today. Uh, this one was from my brother, Jason. Yeah. And he was looking for REM. Uh, this one's called Crush with Eyeliner. That sounds interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we haven't done any REM on here. Uh, we do know uh, some of their major hits, of course. Yeah, of course. But uh, we really haven't mm, dove in to this uh, band very well. Yeah, not really. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, of course, everybody says they're an absolutely amazing band. And I do love the music that they that I've heard. Well, most of it, anyway. So I like some of it. I'm not necessarily a big fan of the vocals. That's just me. Mm. Well, Michael Stipe is uh, a voice you can take or leave, I suppose. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm willing to give this a shot. I don't know this song, so maybe it's mm. better than some of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like a wow. couple of them. I yeah. just don't like all of them because his vocals do bother me a little. Oops. But let's get into this and see how it is. Let's see. This is not what I was expecting. No? It's actually pretty darn good. I, it is I a good find. song. I love the sound of it. Yeah. I'm not quite sure on the lyrics. I can't really Me either hear because them I much, find the yeah, the vocals <laughs> seem to be a little too into yeah. the mix again. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, uh I this looks like a nineties video, so it may be the same problem that a lot of nineties songs have is that the mixing's not quite the way it should be. You know? uh, it happens a lot. Like I, I, I've heard some uh, engineers talk about how there was a certain point where the digital was mixing with the analog, and there was all kinds of confusion as to how to do it properly. Yeah. And uh, I think that might be the case in a lot of mid '90s type stuff. I don't know when this came out yet. But it's just a little muddy sounding, I find. But, yeah, yeah. But it's I like, like the it's song. Like you can hear the vocal, mm -hmm. but you can't hear the vocal because the everything is just kind of combining to hide it a little bit yeah. yeah it's pretty good though this song yeah so far it's a great sound well, let's keep going all right <laughs> Oh, 
That was pretty good. It was. I liked it. You know what's funny? The last part of that song, for some reason, I started thinking of Blur Woohoo, that one. Hmm. Woohoo. I, <laughs> felt, I found that this was kind of reminiscent of the Tragically Hip a little bit. A little bit. I caught that, too. Yeah, it has that. Except the vocals are better than that. Because... <laughs> Honestly, as much as a lot of people love the Tragically Hip, that's one thing that I don't like about them. You don't like Gord's voice? No, oh. sorry, no. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things, you, again, you either take or leave, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, and there's a lot of, you know, people would call the Tragically Hip like the greatest band. But uh, I, as much as I do love a lot of songs, not a lot, a few songs from uh, the Tragically Hip, uh, I don't really go looking for them. And when I do hear them, it's kind of, eh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I've always been that way about them. And, uh, of course, they are a great band. And Gord Downey, of course, was a great guy. Yeah. Uh, same with Michael Stipe. Uh, uh, his voice is sometimes difficult for people. It wasn't bad in this, though. Yeah. It was pretty good, actually. Well, he was trying to be a little edgier in it. And I actually really did enjoy this song. It worked with the song. I wish Surprising. I could understand what was being said exactly. Oh, it was just about a crush. I caught that at the second half. Oh, yeah. He just had a crush on some girl with eyeliner or some guy with eyeliner. Who knows? And just said, my crush with eyeliner. He's talking about how he's smitten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think well, that's all it's about. Perhaps. I yeah. could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll probably look in the lyrics. Yeah. We'll see. So thank you very much, Jay, for that suggestion. We definitely appreciated it. Yeah, it was, it quite was interesting. good, which I'm surprised I enjoyed it because, like I said, I'm not usually a fan of his vocal, mm -hmm. but it was good. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jay's got some interesting taste. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Share with all your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video, and we'll see you next time. Later. Later. <laughs>